Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Kulecha and I welcome you to this channel. Uh, today I am addressing a question which is a common question of people that do I need to uh, convert to a Buddhist, become a Buddhist uh, in order to follow the Buddha's teachings. So the answer to this is absolutely no. You do not need to convert to Buddhism or become a Buddhist to follow the Buddha's teachings. If anyone gives you such kind of an advice that you need to convert or you need to become a Buddhist, they are giving you wrong advice and in a, there is a Hindi movie uh, by the name PK. So uh, in that there is something called wrong number. So that is a wrong number, right? If someone gives you that kind of an advice, you do not need to, you know, absolutely not necessary to become a Buddhist, right? First of all, let us understand one thing. Buddha, Krishna, Jesus, these masters, they came in this world. They gave the knowledge for the liberation of the souls, right? Uh, whoever they thought that, these are ready souls who are ready for liberation. They gave the knowledge and they went. Then the people with limited thoughts, they created religions around that, right? So uh, we have, we find so many religions around, right? Uh, and there are so much uh, conflicts between religions. Like at the time I am making this video, there is this Israel-Palestine war that is going. Lot of wars and, you know, since time immemorial, they've, they've been created in the name of religion, whereas the masters... They never created the religions. Buddha never created a religion. There is no such thing as Buddhism, right? Buddha just Buddha never tried to create a following or a community or a, or a you know big following. N never. Buddha just gave the knowledge. So after his enlightenment, enlightenment uh, when he got enlightened in uh, in at 35 years of age at Bodh Gaya, he started traveling, right? He gave the first discourse at Sarnath, and then he started to travel. For 43 or 45 years, he was traveling and he was just giving knowledge. And then people made it into religions. And, you know, now even in Buddhism, you find various, various traditions that are there. And they all the traditions keep competing within themselves that we are the best. And, you know, and then all the religions, Hinduism, Buddhism. Now, please understand the people who have very limited intellect, very limited mind, you know, they keep fighting about religions and all these things, you know. People who are truly spiritual, they just follow the master, follow the teachings. Uh, they make the changes within themselves and achieve the path. But then people who, they have nothing to do. They just keep creating all these divisions and, you know, in the name of um, religion, they create hatred and wars and everything like that, right? So, so first of all, important thing to understand is Buddha is a teacher. He did not create a religion. People, after him made a religion, right? Like people have made Hinduism and Christianity as other religions. So masters give pure knowledge and I've just made some certain points and I'm you know speaking so that I don't you know digress. So sorry for that. Okay, so important thing is that if you are a Hindu, if you are a Christian, if you are a Muslim, you can follow your religion and you can also follow the Buddha's teachings, right? There is no such thing that you need to convert. It somewhere it was said uh, that, you know, if if you follow, uh, if you are a Christian and you follow Bud uh, Buddha's teachings, you become a better Christian. If you are a Hindu and you follow Buddha's, Buddha's teachings, you become a better Hindu, right? Because the underlying thing is what Buddha preached about these these qualities of wisdom, these qualities of uh, uh, love, compassion, mercy. All these qualities are common across the religions, right? So all the all the religions basically teach the same thing. All the masters, not the religions, but the masters teach taught the same thing. And then because the confusion was created by way of religion, then people start fighting. My religion is better. Your religion is not good. Right. So my history, I'm just sharing my history because I I just took for, so that you get a perspective. I am myself a Jain. Right. I am belong to a Jain family. But the best thing that happened to me and I thank my parents for that is that they never imposed the uh, Jainism on me. They never said that you need to follow this, you need to do as this. They were very liberal. They were themselves liberal in their uh, following of the teachings of Jainism. And they were very liberal that they allowed me to pursue what I need to pursue. So I, so my spiritual journey, I, I was, you know, that inquisitiveness was there since college about who am I and why I'm, what I'm doing on this earth. So... That took me to like books like Wayne Dyer's books and you know that is in my college. In 2005, I started my spiritual journey where I actually started uh, uh, my my quest. And that was also, I just came, I thought some memory and concentration will be increased. So I started following, doing pranayama and meditation and everything. And as I did, 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 and I in 2016, 15, 16, I came across the book Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. 
that introduced me to the concept of mindfulness he doesn't say mindfulness he he, he says it as presence and then i started becoming mindful i started being present and and lot of changes came in me in 2019 i got introduced to the uh, teachings of the zen master thiknat han and i i further went into buddha's and then that is where in 2019 i started following buddha's teachings i started reading the sutras but that also also just a, at a basic level but in somewhere in 2021 i got a very strong insight that i have to this is my mission on this in this life to spread buddha's teachings and there was this frustration in me that why buddha's teachings have got eliminated from my country where buddha has born his teachings have been totally you know eliminated that frustration was there in me and and more than the frustration i got this insight that i need to do the work to spread the buddha's teachings and follow the buddha's teachings and then i went deep and deep and and this is how this channel happened and i'm and i recently i visited sarnath also right and it has taken me to a next level in terms of my commitment towards spreading buddha's knowledge which is lost right the deep knowledge of buddha that was, that is now lost i'm just doing my bit to promote it and my bit to spread it right so okay so and now in this in my family i have my wife who is a, a hindu who is a brahmin and we are perfectly we respect each others uh, uh, preferences religious preferences and spiritual preferences i help her in doing all the pujas and everything that she does she helps and she takes care that when i am doing my meditation and uh, there's no interference so that is how you know we have to work together right and even our children we give them full freedom we do not impose any one view just we give them freedom and let them develop where they want to go right so that is how i think we should you know uh, follow you know, rather than getting stuck in the narrow views right okay now my suggestion is my suggestion is that see friends my suggestion is that first you decide on your goal my suffering in in my life brought me to the buddha's path and what i was very much inclined when he buddha said that buddha left this uh, his family and everything because of in search of he wanted free, freedom from suffering he wanted he he saw when he saw the you know, the ill person and the sick person the death the dead person he realized that life is suffering and he wanted to find that answer that was the like the turning point for me to come in buddha's teaching because that is my own thing i have seen so much suffering from my childhood so much suffering my dad uh, expired when i was just 8 years old and from there the kind of suffering i have seen and that kind of you know i resonated with buddha's one question that how to get free from suffering and that brought me so important thing for you also so it's not about buddhism buddha's teachings and other things i am just giving basically from my experience i'm just sharing i'm now 18 years in my spiritual journey first find your spiritual goal you know a lot of people talk about lot of good things but they their spiritual goal is not clear why are you doing all these spiritual practices right so first find your spiritual goal then find your teacher right the teacher that you raise it may be sai baba it may be some other master right so find your teacher and then go deep in his teachings forget about religion see religion is the uh, kind of uh, religion is the domain of those people who want to control others politicians big religious organizations media they all want to control us so they control us in the name of religion right you can watch the movie pk for more things uh, more detail on this or uh, there is another hindi movie uh, oh my god it's a beautiful the way they have de de demonstrated right so we don't have to fall for, uh, fall into the clutches of these people right we have to decide on our spiritual goal follow the teachings of the master find a master it may be bhagwan krishna it may be jesus whichever master you follow go deep into their teachings and start implementing the teachings in your daily life now if you follow the teachings of the buddha then you can follow the teachings of the buddha now important thing is uh, if you uh, if when you start following the teachings of a particular master at one point if you realize that the teachings are not sufficient enough or somewhere you don't resonate it because see as you grow, grow in your spiritual journey you might be resonated to some other teacher like i resonated to buddha and at around 2019 in my like 15 years of when i was 15 years in my spiritual journey then it's perfectly fine to switch teachers please please uh, don't think that our teachers or masters they feel bad so if i have been following sai baba's teachings for so all this while and then i i take my teacher as the buddha sai baba will see sai baba 
Bhagwan Krishna, uh, all Jesus, these masters are at that level. They are not. They don't, you know, feel have the good and bad, you know, that he is not following my teaching and, you know, I feel bad. They are not like that. That is our limited way of seeing things like that. So, think of it is this way that one master has brought you to the shore and then he has handed over to another master who takes you someplace else, right, in your spiritual journey. What, have, what helped me in my spiritual journey till now, the biggest thing that has helped me that I, I had an open mind. Because of my family upbringing, they did not, you know, impose on me that you have to follow this and that. I was open. Whatever knowledge came to me, I was willing to take that knowledge and I was willing to ex explore myself. If it serves me, I will go deep into it. If it doesn't serve me, I will not follow it. That was my clear, because my spiritual goal was clear, right? So, important thing is that uh, just follow the master that you resonate with. Do not get into the... The, the things like religion and all these things, right? And uh, one word of warning I want to give you if you follow, if you are inclined to follow, not warning but just one word of advice as a Buddha uh, Dharma practitioner myself is that in Buddha's teaching there are no supports, there are no crutches, right? You will not get the crutch of even like a god, right? Generally there is this support of there is a god that is somewhere. Buddha puts you in the center. Otherwise, in other religions, in other teachings, you have God as a center and you have this devotional thing towards the God. See, Buddha never said that there is, I will make a separate video on this thing. Buddha never said there is no, no God. Buddha said, explore for yourself. Find out the truth for yourself, not the truth that someone else tells you to follow. Right? Buddha's teachings were at that level. That he said, do not even follow my teachings without examining them. Make them your experience and See on basis of your experience and see what is right. So Buddha never said there is no God. Buddha said look into yourself. So the, so the deepest question is who am I? If I find the answer to who am I, then I will find the answer of is there a God or not. Right? So important thing is that there are no support, no crutches. Right? It's a, it's a bit... Kind of, you know, there are no some ceremony, uh, uh, the rituals and all these things. No. We have to keep looking into our mind and purify our conduct. Buddha's teaching is always, see what Buddha said in the five remembrances. And Buddha always has said, our karmas, our karma are the biggest, are, are our only friends. Family, possessions, everything will take, remain here. Only our karmas will take us into our next realm, whichever we born and you know we'll decide our future right and there is no divine intervention that's you know you commit all the wrong deeds and you do some pujas and rituals and you know and you 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 cover up them no there is nothing like that you have to see off the results of your karma so when you realize this you start doing the right karma right things so and that's the difficult thing we are all ready to do all the pujas and all the things but not all of us are ready to purify our conduct and this is I am also saying difficult for myself so following the precept of right speech right uh, no no false speech no gossip this is sometimes very difficult in day to day life but that is where the Buddha's teaching is Buddha says that you have to do these follow the five precepts at a minimum that we have to follow no lying no stealing no no cheating anyone right no killing no sexual misconduct no drinking right these five precepts you have to start walking on these precepts this is Buddha's dharma, right? Not that you uh, you worship Buddha and you know a lot of things. That are all people have created that. That is not the core teaching. Buddha said the person who really follows me will follow these paths of the right speech, becoming kind, loving, compassionate. That is difficult. So please keep that in mind, right? Okay. If you follow, want to follow on the Buddha's path, first of all, there is no need to change your religion. I am still a Jain in terms of my religion. But yes, my practice is Buddhist practice. So that's perfectly fine. Right? Okay. There are no ceremonies that you need to attend or some, some Diksha you need to take. See, various traditions in Buddhism have created some uh, uh, very uh, nice, you know, simple ceremonies. I also attended an online ceremony in uh, the Zen Master Thich Nhat Hanh's tradition uh, for, for uh, five mindfulness training ceremony it was an online ceremony i took right so if you want you can attend but there is no compulsion to attend if you want to follow if you are inclined to follow buddha as your teacher 
there is no some ceremonies or and all that you need to attend so that you buddha will take you into a teacher buddha never said that uh, you have to do this and then i i it's only your intent right so that you need to take no diksha and all you need to take what we need to do start following the five precepts no killing do not kill anyone right even a living being uh, living being animal no even an insect no killing i have made a separate video on the five precepts so you can watch that detailed video no killing no lying that means no false speech no slander no hit hit harsh speech no for uh, idle gossip third is uh, no stealing don't take anything which is not yours no sexual misconduct just be true to your partner be true to your wife or husband and no extramarital things and everything fifth is uh, uh, no drinking no alcohol even not drugs nothing that intoxicates your mind so you can see that detailed video so start following these five precepts from today to the extent possible see somewhere or else we will make our mistakes and all we will learn but our commitment has to be there and keep coming back to the five precepts that is number 1 start doing meditation i have made a detailed meditation video on insight meditation which is vipassana meditation which is based on the satipatthana sutra right which buddha said is the direct path of liberation for all beings right so you can start practicing insight meditation uh, see my detailed video on insight meditation how to practice then start reading about the four noble truths and the noble eightfold path right i have done live sessions on the four noble truths noble eightfold path you can go in the playlist buddha teachings live sessions and there is a set of seven sessions that i have done live sessions you can go and check i'll also make individual videos i think i have made already individual videos for noble truths but noble eightfold path i have to make so i will make the individual videos this four noble truths and noble eightfold path is the core teaching of the buddha if you do not follow, follow any of the other teachings if you follow then that is very very good but everything comes back to the to this four noble truths noble eightfold path so you can start reading about that there is a detailed video i have made on the beginners guide to studying buddha's teachings that video i have made i have made another video on beginners guide to studying the sutras right so that is for advanced people if if you want to study the sutras you can study that you can check that video right so i hope this video was uh was helpful it gave you some clarity you do not absolutely need to change uh, your religion to become a uh, the follow the buddha's teachings uh if there is anything uh, any uh, th uh, thoughts feedback do put in the comment section uh, thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaye namo buddhaye